Do you know what, guys? I don't even care about the loud noise of this hard drive. I'm just gonna give it a go anyway, because I really couldn't care less. This is a little experiment. Even though it is really loud. Alright, and we're booting from the CD. Windows is loading files. <laughs> uh, what a crazy experiment this is. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to get the tripod so I can just... Uh, yeah, so I can just show you the whole thing. My screen is horribly dusty, guys. But as you can see, Windows was just starting up there. Let me move you up a little bit. There you have it, the good old Windows 7 installer. Alright guys, setup is starting. This is a really, really loud hard disk. <laughs> Do you know what, it hasn't even been on five minutes and it's annoying me already. Yay, we've got some stuff on the screen. Uh, I accept the license agreement thing. Uh, which type of installation do you want? Uh, we'll do an upgrade, because I'm not clever enough to do an advanced one. The computer started using the Windows installation disk. Remove the installation disk and restart your computer so the Windows starts normally. Then, insert the installation disk and restart the upgrade. Do not select custom advanced to perform an upgrade. Do you know what, bugger that, we'll do the custom advanced thing. I agree. Advanced. Yay! Uh, we're just formatting the drive, guys. Well, trying to anyway. Alright, so the disk was successfully partitioned, it's uh, a very small hard drive and I don't think there's enough space, but who cares, this is just an experiment and uh, it seems to be doing its thing at the moment. If I move the camera down a bit, you can see that status bar thing at the bottom. Oh, you could see that anyway, stupid user interface of the camera was blocking it. But anyway, I'll update you in a minute. I was looking through my stuff guys and I found this. This is a Maxta 60 gig drive as I've conveniently scribbled down there and um, I think I pulled this out of my Power Mac G3 um, so this would have been an ideal size I mean you're not sacrificing a nice big 80 gigabyte but it's still enough space to use but anyway um, it doesn't matter can't turn back time and uh, the installation seems to be going well on this very loud and um, sort of, I don't know, faulty hard drive I guess you could say. It's gonna conk out any second, it's making evil noises. I found another 40 gig as well but I'm not sure if this one works. But yeah, I'm just sorting out all this stuff and finding a safe place for my uh, reliable PC hard drive um, with a good copy of legitimate XP on there. Well guys, it blue screened again. And this time I think it's because of the uh, hard drive. I just think the hard drive is too crap to uh, keep up with the installation. So what I'm going to do is uh, give up for today and I'm going to um, take out this hard drive, maybe tomorrow night or something, and um, replace it with that 60 gig Maxter one, uh, the big one that I showed you a minute ago because this little thin Maxter one doesn't seem to be uh, quite doing its job but yeah um, that was uh, a bit of fun guys it shows that Windows um, can start installing on the, on this PC I think the hard drive is basically the main problem and uh, yeah I'll just shove that other one in but for now we'll leave it as it is
So that was my fun little experiment and it was really enjoyable to uh, give it a go. Unfortunately, um, I have no spare time to be playing around with this stuff. I'd love to, uh, you know, swap out the hard drives again and get Windows 7 working and see how good it performs, you know, and show you guys some videos on that. And maybe we will be able to do that sometime in the future. But unfortunately, right now, I just haven't got the time to be playing around with that kind of thing. But hopefully you enjoyed this two-part video. It was a little experiment and we had some really fun times. Um, we had a couple of blue screens and we had um, a little trip down memory lane with Windows 2000. So that was great. So I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. And um, I noticed a lot of you commented on part one and you said... Um, your PC should run Windows 7 fine and all that. And since seeing those comments, I've looked at Windows 7 running on old computers, and um, it's definitely um, uncomparable to Vista as far as um, hogging up system resources goes. Um, it's a lot uh, uh, more of a lightweight operating system. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.